What up you guys, I'm back, got another video of Mafia 2, basically in the last video, we, uh, put, we got, uh, Henry put on to join us and work for Falcone, but he had to kill Leo, so we saved Leo and got Leo up out of there, uh, Leo Galante, uh, and basically, that's what happened the majority in the last video, we were just trying to save Leo, and, uh, Henry was asking all them questions, and of course he probably already figured out that was me and Joe that killed Clemente inside the uh, the hotel in the other video before the last video. But uh, we're going to jump back into it. Also, yeah, these guys came and looked like the guys that worked for that one dude uh, that was in uh, part of the beginning of the game that we was robbing that store with Joe, that jewelry store, that one dude. Uh, he was like an Irish guy. It looked like they they hooked, they with him, but I don't know who these guys is. They came and burnt, uh, started uh, throwing uh, fire in the house and torched torch the house. So, yeah, but we're going to jump back into it. Dang, I got to see, because this is that one mission. I don't like this mission either, because I didn't die a lot of times. Hold up, hold up. I gotta figure out, cause there's too many of them. Cause I'm gonna have to kill them. But I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Hmm. Torch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you dago cut! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Oh man, I gotta figure out. Cool. I'm not finna keep on watching it. <laughs> I've already watched it already. I'm finna keep on watching it. Where is it? Who is that? There we go. He got like a tummy or something. Come on over here. I saw you. <laughs> what other guy? Is they trying to get away from the pokeballs? Police it. <laughs> All right, I'm finna run. I'm not gonna stay over there. Cause I know the police is after me. I'm not finna be. I'm not staying over there. Let me get up out of here now. I was trying to just defend myself. Where the heck is the popo? Is it? Man, I'm finna steal a car. Why do people just sit and stir when you break into a car? <laughs> they just look crazy like, oh, what's going on here? I thought I 
I wasn't gonna make it up out of there. I gotta get to Joe's house, probably. Ah, oh, man, who is this? I'm about to say, look like they got a roadblock for you, boy. See man, you got these bright lights on. I feel like well, I'm driving <laughs> in real life, not in the game. <laughs> and you be driving at night and people have bright lights and they coming towards you, they'll be like, bro, I can't see nothing. Or, or people get behind you and they had a high beams on, you be like, bro, can you cut them things off? You blinded me, I can't see. Then they be wondering like, oh, uh, why? Probably like, why you driving so slow? I'm driving at a certain speed because I can't see. Because you blinded me with them lights. Police was about to hop. They about to hop on, trying to get him, get me right there when they went past me. But I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot they didn't see me. They just saw me like. Crazy, I gotta run out. I run out here, got my boxes on and a tank top and all my money gone. Yep. I'm like how all my money gone? It just burnt down the house. I ain't got no Come on, Joe, don't tell me in the you're bank. not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! Coming. Oh, you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. I'll fix you a drink. Yeah, you ain't gonna shut the door. You just leave the door wide what open. What the like fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell <laughs> what happened to this, this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh, different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? He just left yeah, the door this. open and he closed the door. Crazy fucking mix. What about it? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Uh, nah, I don't want to wear none. Oh, okay. Now the door closed mysteriously by itself. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, but okay. I need a favor. I thought Watch your mix try to kill my stuff in here. Tonight. I, I wear my own clothes. I ain't trying I to wear your stuff, Joe. And where they're <laughs> operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. I guess I wear it though. It is oh, great. Oh, oh fucking yes. Clowns. Well, that explains <laughs> it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick Joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car.
Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Oh, they got his car. Can we drive another car? Nah, nothing. Why? The mix got themselves a... A new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. Oh, that's what I was, was talking about. Desmond's cousin. That's what ah, I was talking shit. about. That guy, My Brian O'Neill. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, that's the dude. That's his name, Brian O'Neill. Cause that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, he gotta have. They gotta be connected with that guy, cause they all was like a Irish, like type gang or crew or something. So I'm like, yeah, they gotta be connected with that dude. And I'm like, what a coincidence. He, he, uh, Joe just said the dude is. Uh, I guess the leader is. Is the dude's cousin, Brian O'Neill's cousin or something? Like, what is the Slow coincidence? Fuck down before you get pulled over. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. What are the odds of that happening? Hey, you just went through a red light. Bruh, come on, nobody don't stop your red lights in this game. Only the the people, the what's called, you know we don't stop no red lights at this game. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I should have just kicked the door. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do. You were the one who ran away, oh. asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Hey, I yes, should have ate do. some ate a sandwich or something. Back me up. Oh, that dude, the bartender got a gun too? Oh, man. Come on, think of something. Hurry up. Where you at? Dang, I ain't hitting nobody. Oh. I don't want to get on your bad side. Where the other dude? You shoot like my sister. Come on! Come on, show me what you got, big shot. I'm the best. <laughs> Woo! I didn't even see him. I was trying to get my health filled up. It was cool though. I hmm. told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do. You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Do this. Let's go. Come on, let's kick this shit out of him. Cover me. I lost him. Do I see him? I just shot through all them chairs. That's all I was trying to do is uh Back 
me up, Vito. I amaze myself. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Oh, I'll take that. You shoot like my sister. So I gotta go to Italy. Or maybe I was supposed to go to Italy. Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go to getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Takes care of that, huh? You know the yeah, ring, but but my okay, just got another trophy. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. And what do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. End up a fucking wolf rat like an old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. I probably should have got another car. Like a different car, that's what I thought about, but... See you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Big old uh, accident. Possible Grand Theft Auto. Ain't this an armor of any? Uh, you ain't gonna get me. Roger that. This is an armored truck. 
think, yeah, this one is an armor trust. He ain't gonna be able to kill me. Fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. Look. Our good friend. Oh, okay. Just got another trophy. Chapter 12, Sea Gift. Marty's apartment, September 22nd, 1951. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey, go to phone. Okay. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Let me get some clothes real fast. Hold on, we can do this one.
could seem like almost everybody got a Lincoln Park somewhere. Far, far as Park, whatever. Hey, here he comes. Hey, what's up? Hey, Vito, take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay. So what does this have to do with us? Of course, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for? 110. <whistles> nice. OK, well, where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an animal. Of course, anybody. Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? It's I'm in. Get that money. Ah, don't be Sound stupid, like Joe. 20 fucking grand yeah, in one afternoon. Get that, get that cheese, that cheddar, that bread. When? Right now. If we don't take the guap. Towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, just that one dude, I think. Because I'm, as I'm going through this game, I'm starting to remember, like, some of the, the, the missions or some of the people. I think that's that one dude. He was a long shirt. We had to pay him. Because I remember, because I played this game, like, when it came out, like, years ago. About, what, over 10 or some years ago. Come on, old man, get out the way. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know. In pursuit of a speeding Bruno vehicle. Carl Frank Vinci for 35 grand. Copy that. Be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Come Besides, we gotta keep us off. quiet. Can we trust him? Sure, wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Okay, this is it. Stop here. You gotta kill somebody you keep driving that way. I'm gonna yeah. find you. Alright, man. Get up off you. Come on, man. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Alright, leave me alone so I can go.
taking all my money. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. How do them dudes keep their glasses on just hey, their nose I... like that? Hello, Henry. Them ones ain't got nothing to hold on their ears. So and just got them what right do there. I owe the pleasure of your company to? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. I'm sure like, what's with all the questions? Did he gonna and give me the money or not? is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10000 every week. Goodness. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 and $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. How come people are always trying to use the Bible to justify the stuff that they do? Like, they be saying that eye for eye. And tooth for tooth stuff, they were like, I don't know. I ain't gonna get into that though. Let me just get off that stuff. Hmm, I think I'm gonna stop. We're gonna stop right here, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, if you guys want me to keep making videos like this and uh, you want me to post other games and different games, other games. And more Mafia videos, like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Alright y'all, peace. I'm out.